over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. But most of that water is salt water in the oceans. Only a very small amount of that water is actually fresh water, and most of the fresh water is locked up as glaciers. And some of it's in our lakes, and only a very small amount is in our streams and in groundwater, and that's the water that we rely upon as drinking water. The leading cause of death of children in the world is lack of clean water. So can we take salt water and turn it into fresh water? That's the purpose or objective of this lab, to take salt water and run it through a process called distillation and distill it into fresh water. Process of distillation is very energy intense. We're going to need a Bunsen burner for this lab. We're going to need, obviously, a lighter to start the Bunsen burner. You'll need a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with a rubber stopper and a tube coming out of it that's going to collect the steam. And you're going to need a test tube in order to condense the steam into liquid water. You'll need a 600 milliliter beaker, some ice, a couple boiling chips or rocks, LabQuest device, and a conductivity probe to measure how much salt is in the water. And of course you'll need salt water in order to run this experiment as well. To your 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, go ahead and add a small handful of rocks. And those are going to be boiling chips that are going to allow the salt water to boil at a normal amount without overboiling. To the Erlenmeyer flask, also add 100 milliliters of salt water. Replace the cap on the Erlenmeyer flask. Make sure that the tube, the rubber tube, is going to travel continuously down without having a bend or a kink in it where the water can start to build up. That can be kind of dangerous, so make sure it's a normal line going all the way down into a test tube, which is in, and this test tube has to be extremely clean because you're going to be collecting clean, pure, distilled water, so make sure that this is very clean. If not, make sure to rinse it out a bunch of times with distilled water and collect it in a 600 milliliter beaker that contains an ice water bath. So this beaker should contain ice and water to make an ice water bath. Okay, so there's your ice water bath. Go ahead and put the test tube in the ice water bath. Before you start the experiment, you're going to want to measure how much salt is in that water. I made up the salt water to contain 8 grams per liter. Now let's use our conductivity probe to measure and see how much exactly is in there. Plug your conductivity probe into the LabQuest device. Over a towel, rinse the conductivity probe with distilled water. The tip of the conductivity probe, the very end of it, rinse it with distilled water only ever use distilled water. If the distilled water ever runs out, make sure to only fill it up using the distilled water in this container and not to fill it up from the sink so that these always only contain distilled water, purified water. Place the rinsed conductivity probe directly into the salt water Make sure that the tip of the temperature, uh, conductivity probe is completely submerged. Right now it's not, so what I need to do is tilt this a little bit so that the conductivity probe is completely submerged. Make sure the toggle switch on the conductivity probe is on the 0 to 20,000 reading. This is because we're measuring salt water, and salt water is going to have a high reading. So we're not going to use either the lower readings. We'll use the highest reading. On the LabQuest, Change the units to milligrams per liter. Change the units to milligrams per liter. I said before that I made this salt water as a 8 grams per liter. That would be 8,000 milligrams per liter. This is reading 7,215. That's probably pretty accurate. Simply record 
the live readout in your data table. So I would write 7215 milligrams per liter in my data table. You do not need to connect your iPad to the LabQuest for this experiment. Carefully remove the conductivity probe from the salt water. Over a towel, rinse the salt water off the conductivity probe using distilled water. Set the LabQuest aside. You won't need it until you've completed the experiment. Reset your Erlenmeyer flask. Put the cover back on. Put on a sweet pair of goggles. Now it's time to light and adjust your Bunsen burner. So the first thing you want to do is connect the Bunsen burner tube to the gas. Turn the valve on. Go ahead and light your Bunsen burner. So this flame looks pretty good, but I'm going to show you how to make a couple adjustments in case it doesn't look so good when you first turn it on. Um, first of all, I'll show you that there's two adjustable things you can do. One is that you can turn this, and by turning that, it's going to reduce or increase the amount of oxygen that's going into this thing. All right, so if you find a really orange flame, that's this is what you need to adjust. You need to adjust the base here. Get it back down so you have basically a flame within a flame. You've got the inner blue flame and the outer blue flame, and should be about a one inch flame there and about a two and a half inch flame there. If you're not getting enough flame, you can do one of two things. You can make this adjustment on the base here. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's reducing how much gas is coming out by increasing this. You're increasing how much gas is going through, and that's way too much. Um, again, you just want kind of a normal flame there. So again, that looks pretty good. I'm going to be happy with that. Just wanted to show you some adjustments quick on the Bunsen burner. Go ahead and begin heating your salt water, making sure that everything looks good. Okay, this tube should be going all the way down without any kinks in it, all the way into your clean collection test tube, which is in the ice water bath. You want kind of a nice medium controlled flame so that things don't get out of hand. If they do get out of hand and this boils over too much, um, you're going to contaminate your test tube. And what you're going to want to do right away is if, if things get out of hand too quick, the first thing to do is probably just to move the Bunsen burner out from underneath the flask. Then obviously, then you can start taking time and making adjustments on the flame. So things are going pretty well. I've got a pretty good rolling boil here. Um, just be careful that you don't want it to boil all the way up to the rubber stopper or you're going to start to get salt water in there. So again, you can, you can make some minor adjustments on the flame to make sure to keep it down um, so that you're not going to get too hot of a boil, um, just a normal boil. You can see, this is I'm kind of zooming in on the test tube inside the the beaker that you can see that the level is rising. I'm collecting distilled water as it boils here slowly, but fast enough that you can observe it happening here. And we're condensing the steam into into water here in the ice water bath. Again, just be very careful. This is a potentially dangerous situation, so please just don't sit on your iPad and play games. Obviously, you'd never want to do that, but this is this is something you need to keep an eye on here. This is we got very hot steam. We've got boiling water here. We've got a potential. Uh, pressure situation if this gets backed up, so just make sure you're monitoring this the entire time it's happening. When it looks like you've got enough distilled water collected in your test tube, go ahead and shut off the flame by turning the valve off. Don't just blow it out here, the gas will still come out. Now what we really want to do is get a reading on what's the uh, conductivity of the distilled water, so again, don't you might burn yourself if you grab that, just be careful. And we want this to be in room temperature water, not ice water, so I grabbed another beaker, I'm going to fill that up with Carefully so that you don't burn yourself, transfer your distilled water into that room temperature water. When a few minutes have gone by, place the conductivity probe inside the distilled water test tube. Since we're reading distilled water, you really need to change this setting. Okay, so this should no longer be 0 to 20,000. We're checking distilled water. That's probably going to be a pretty small amount of salt in there. I'd probably change it to the lowest setting, which is 0 to 200 for this reading. Make sure that your units are in milligrams per liter. And I'm now reading 11.5 milligrams per liter, where we're reading in the 7,000s before. So yeah, we definitely 
purified and distilled the water, the salt water, and obtained some very fresh, pure, distilled water. Clean up. Make sure to rinse off your conductivity probe one more time and dry it off before you put it away. Like always, rinse out test tubes and beakers. I just recommend at least rinsing them thoroughly five times to make sure you get any salt or anything like that off of them. Certainly allow your Erlenmeyer flask to cool for a long time before you touch it. Please take your time cleaning up lab equipment, rinsing off glassware, and spraying off your table. Thanks.